I love Pamela Anderson. Superfan Carolyn Anderson from Liverpool loves her Baywatch idols so much, she's dedicated her life and career to looking like her. She spent thousands of pounds on surgery and has even changed her surname to Anderson. And it all started with a comment from her dad. I said to her, you've got to look at Pamela Anderson. So we got a magazine out and looked and she went, oh yeah. So I suppose I'm the culprit for everything that's happened. I've done a lot of bookings as, you know, my character, which is Scouse Pammy. And I've done all sorts of events from charity events to club events to openings, radio shows and fashion shows. 30-year-old Carolyn has spent more than £20,000, the equivalent of more than $30,000, and undergone eight boob jobs to perfect her look. We'll start off with the implants. They're obviously not real. Anti-wrinkle injections, which is the Botox. Um, eye colour. My real eye colour is brown. I've got contact lenses in to make them blue. Teeth. I've had them straightened and whitened. So I've had them filed to look like veneers and, you know, I've had some, some laser teeth whitened. But it still takes a lot of work to maintain her image. <laughs> The look is very blonde, bombshell, very 60s vibe, but they're also very sun-kissed, very, very beach ready. So the treatments I get are, um, obviously, two colours, so a tint and bleach, um, then I get, you know, blow dries every week, uh, eyebrow uh, wax and tint, uh, eyelashes done, um, facials, chemical skin peels, Botox, lip injections, lip tattoos, um, spray tan, sunbeds. However, the road to becoming Scouse Pammy had its tricky moments. My first surgery round about 2006, which was breast implants, um, I had a lot of complications. I had to have it drained multiple times, and when that didn't work, uh, the implant actually ended up exploding while I was on the sunbed. I actually had to walk round for six months with only one implant in one side. Initially, it was Carolyn's dad, Billy Arrowsmith, who inadvertently started her down this path after she had a new hairstyle when she was 14. She just walked in one day with her hair blonde. I said to her, you've got to look at Pamela Anderson. So we got a magazine out and looked and she went, oh yeah. So I suppose I'm the culprit for everything that's happened. As a child, she was hard working at school, good at music, good at most things. She got A's and everything. And the last thing I thought she'd work out being is Carolyn Anderson. <laughs> she went to a university to become a lawyer, and uh, this is the total opposite end of the <laughs> spectrum. But not everyone in Scouse Pammy's family shares her love for glamour. From the age of 11 to 16, Carolyn was really over the top. Um, always loved the sunbeds, makeup, tan. It takes me about 20 minutes to get ready, but it takes Carolyn about two hours to get ready. Like we have to, when we're going out and there, I have to make sure I, I get ready like an hour and a half after she's got ready. Like, so we've only got half an hour to wait and then, you know, because it is a bit annoying. <laughs> I've always known we were very different, but we're not in, in our heads. We're not. We're both we're the same person, but we look different. Despite their differences, Amy is always there to back her sister up. I've seen a few comments on Facebook and that, and it's just people who've got nothing better to do. She can fight her own corner, but, you know, a little helping hand doesn't go amiss, <laughs> does it? <laughs> Hi, Pam. But what do the public think of Carolyn's look as she takes to the streets of Liverpool? Gauss Pammy is absolutely fabulous. She looks just like the real thing. We love her and we're going to go and ask her for her autograph. It's good, Nicola, yeah? Good. Let's try and come back and have a second look. I just thought Scouse said doing us proud, doing us well, showing that, you know, what the Liverpool girls can do. Pamela is the ultimate 80s sex icon. So, you know, you can't get much better than that. <laughs> 